Let's have a look and see who's in my green room tonight. We have some great guests for you. Starting with the man who loves his fans as much as they love him, a consummate stage actor, arguably the definitive Hamlet of his generation, brilliant on the big and the small screen to some, including me. He will always be the Doctor. It is, of course, David Tennant, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Some soup in there, some soup. That's a lot. You're lovely. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still here with Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo. But let's get my next guest out. He's got it all. He's handsome, he's charismatic, he's a fabulously gifted actor. He made me believe he was Hamlet. He made me believe he was Doctor Who. He even made me believe he was with Virgin Broadband. It is, of course, <laughs> Mr. David Tennant. <laughs> Look at that! That is, he, I'm uh, far be it for me to comment on someone else's clothes, but wow, that's a suit and a half. I right always there. dress up for you, Jonathan. You do, Cristiano. What do you think of this suit? Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, In a good way or a bad way? <laughs> a good way, of oh, course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Doctor Who. Do you miss playing the Doctor? Well, it was a lovely time, yeah. and a time that I think of very fondly. Uh, but you know, you have your time, you move on. It was, but it'll always, it'll always be with me. How many know. years in total was that in your life? Uh, about four and a bit. And you yeah. went back recently. You did an audio uh, recording yeah. with Catherine, didn't you? So I it guess you Catherine, can still yeah. dip in and out. Yeah, it never goes away. Yeah. No, the, the 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 first line of the obituary, I suspect, has been written. Yeah. Yeah, but that's fine. I'm very proud of it. Yeah. Everyone's favourite doctor. That's what it will say. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was. I, I love Matt Smith. I love Peter Cabaldi. I love some of the older guys, but I don't think I was ever. I was when when David regenerates. When we said goodbye to David's doctor, who who cried in this room? How many of you cried? <laughs> Not that many. Okay, well, <laughs> I, well I cried you can, for all of you. You can tickle that up in the edit, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, now, do your kids enjoy? Now they're getting older. Uh, you have Ty, who's thirteen, and yeah. then you have uh, who are now? It's Olive's four, and Wilfred is yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can they watch it? Yeah, I guess Ty can. But Ty grew up with it, can. but the, yeah. the, the, the younger two have just, just got into it, yeah. yeah. I, I, and I, didn't, I did not force this upon them. But they, my wife and I met on Doctor Who, and they saw a picture, they got wind of that, so they wanted to see it, and they watched the episode we met on. And then they developed this kind of passion for it. So it's, it's now on in our house all the time, wow. which is embarrassing when people come round. Because it looks like there's like a moving shrine to myself <laughs> in the corner of the living room at all times, and they've got kind of obsessed with it. And they, they run around with sonic screwdrivers, yeah. and they don't really understand. They think it's a, it's a show which ran from 2005 to 2010, <laughs> uh, which is fine. Um, they don't really understand there's a, there's a, you know, a bigger history to the show, except that, but then the other day, Olive watched my last one. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, this is fine. I, I wasn't really thinking about it. And she watched the bit, and it gets quite sad towards the end. Yeah. And, uh, and she was rapt, so I wasn't really paying any attention to how she was reacting to it. And then she, she got really upset, really upset, uh, you know, quite moved. Uh, which, of course, part of me was thinking, oh, you know, doesn't want to see her daddy moving on. That's, you know, a little bit. Four hours later, she was wow. still crying. Wow. <laughs> At which point it felt like bad parenting, I have to be honest. Wait till she gets to board church. Yeah. You're going to be huge. That's going to be weeks. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, yesterday, she's found Matt Smith, and he's her favourite. So, <laughs> they're fickle. Uh, but Cristiano, I asked him, because Cristiano, you don't watch many uh, films, you don't watch much TV, but you told me you'd heard of Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. Did you, have you seen David as Doctor Who? No. OK. <laughs> Uh, well, if you don't watch the TV, you're going to miss out from David's new show because I had a, I've had a preview link to a new series uh, David has coming on Netflix called Jessica Jones. It's from Marvel Comics Studios, and it's kind of a superhero, but kind of more real world, isn't it? It is a bit, yeah. Jessica Jones has given up being a superhero. At the start of the story, she's retired because the superhero life didn't work out for her, and she's become a sort of down-at-heel private eye instead. Yeah. Now, David plays a, a, a terrible... Awful, horrible villain, don't oh, you? Dear. Yeah, he's called Kilgrave. Yeah, uh, and tell them what his power is. He can compel you to do whatever he wants you to do. So he tells you something. He'll say, "You would like to kiss me," mm. and you go, "I would like to kiss you." Yeah. 
It's, it's a bit like being Cristiano Ronaldo. But, <laughs> but he uses it for mainly... It's, it's not good, the way he turns this power on people, is it? Well, he's not... I, I mean, he's not... He's not your traditional supervillain. He's not trying to take over the world no. or, or, or fire a nuclear weapon or, you know, he's just trying to have a nice time. But what a great part to play, I imagine, yeah, because it's lovely, yeah. he's charming and yet he's evil. Yeah, he's... Uh, but if you, if you had that power, could you say that you would be... You, you know, you would maintain the moral high ground? I'm not sure. I might not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's have a look at the clip. It starts on Friday. It's on Netflix. So you can, uh, I guess you can binge watch it, which is what people do. I think do it, comes, it comes, it uh, premieres at 8 a.m. Yeah. So you can start at 8 a.m. and by tea time you've watched the whole lot. Well, I've watched the first five. I watched right. them and I'm really enjoying right. it. I'm looking forward to getting back to those. So we, I could, would you like to see this series? Mm -hmm. We well, could come to my place. We could Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, that's a date. Okay, this is... How much? It's, um... Honestly, you know, I, I do love comic books anyway, but I love this show. It's so much fun. And the, the woman playing the uh, uh, Jessica Jones, the lead character, she was in Breaking Bad. You remember from that? Tristan Ritter, there she is. Yeah. Now, the comic books, when you first appeared, back in the day, that character appeared in the early 60s, he was purple. This is what he looked yes. like. There he is. He was yeah. wearing purple. Yeah. His hair was purple. His yeah. face was purple. Yeah. Now, why have they not gone the purple route now? I think there are certain things that in the journey from the, the two-dimensional comic book page to the live-action world don't necessarily translate particularly well. I think if I turned up bright purple yeah. uh, in the face, it might be... Because wearing a purple suit in public can look ridiculous anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you know... It can be too much, can't it, Cristiano? So, uh, home life, of course. You mentioned that you, we have uh, Ty, who's 13. Yeah. There's Olive, who's four. Yeah. Wilfred is through lovely names. Uh, yeah. You came on the show, and it was just before, I think, Wilfred Just before was he born. was, yeah. And I think you have uh, another change in your life right We've now. We've just had another one, yeah. We've just had another one. We've just had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Which I didn't even know. I don't think anyone... No one knew about no, it, did quite they? pleased. We quite pleased. We managed to stay under the radar, I think. It's just how we like to do it on the whole, but, yeah. So yeah. you kept this completely quiet. Yeah. So, so apart from uh, me and Cristiano now, yeah. no one else knows. That's it. Okay, so That's we'll, it. Keep, we'll keep it quiet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a little girl, yeah? It is. How lovely. Yes. And presumably, though, this is, is this it for the family? <sighs> I, I think probably. We'll see, you know. Well, so you're not saying no? No, 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 no. I'm just, you know, I don't want to get caught out, but no. Yeah, I, I see what you I, mean. I, if I another think... one comes along, it'd be bad if there was footage. <laughs> This is de yeah. We definitely want no more. Yeah, I think, I think we're, we're a very happy family, I think, yes. So, would you like any more children? Yes. A few more. How many are you planning? I want three, four more. I, think, I thought you maybe had a list. I yeah. think you were... <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, what's life at home like, apart from the many, many children now? You have a... Is this right? You have a cockapoo? Yeah, we do, yeah. You have a cockapoo. Do you know what a cockapoo is? A cockapoo is a breed it's a, dog. It's a cocker spaniel crossed spaniel with a poodle. Crossed with a poodle. Do we have a picture of a cockapoo? Do we have a picture of your cockapoo? No. Okay. Do you? Have we got any cockapoo? <laughs> Just put a dog up. We'll get one. <laughs> put a dog up. It's a dog, anyway. So, how how well behaved is the cockapoo? She's very she's very uh, lovely. She has a lovely temperament about her, but she gets very overexcited. She, I mean, she's tiny. She's, I think she might even be a toy cockapoo. Wow. I don't really know. Uh, it's quite a small little thing. She's about that big. More of a hand towel than a, than <laughs> a little fluffy thing. Very excitable. And, and you get so excited when anyone comes in that she will, if you touch her, she'll piss on your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> we had a dog that used to really? do a sort of stress wee and excitement wee. I just kind of, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, cannot. <laughs> cannot contain herself. <laughs> and we thought she'd grow out of it, but it's, it's still happening. You, you have to ignore her for a full ten minutes or she'll piss on And then it calms down. But she's quite cute, so people... You, if you take her out for a walk, people want to stroke her, she's quite cute. And as they're going down, you go, she's got a piss in your shoes! <laughs> you can't get it out quick enough. <laughs> well, that she can, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. but pe people are weirdly accepting of it. Yeah. So they'll go down, they'll do it, she'll piss all over them. You go, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just because she's cute. I mean, I, I don't... You wouldn't accept Brad Pitt pissing in her shoes, but somehow the cuteness of a dog is acceptable. Have you got any pets? Yeah. What have you got? Labrador and Yorkshire. Would you like a cockapoo? Not with those shoes. They'd be ruined. No, not with those shoes. 
shoes? Is it one of your shoes? Yes. I'm an 11. I'm a nine. I will send you to you. Will you send me a pair? Yeah, because David will have a pair. Yeah. yeah. Right. And he's a nine. But send, a nine, send yeah. two elevens, because that way <laughs> he's got something to grow into. <laughs> You know we're going to bring our next guest out, but I want to just say again, and I mean this genuinely, I've been watching Jessica Jones, loving every second of it, opens Netflix on Friday, and you know, uh, David, I'm going to say something, I hope you don't feel this is too gushy, but I know when you're in something, I know I'm going to enjoy it, because you are just one of the best. In Bull Church, he was exceptional, wasn't he, ladies and gentlemen? And just uh, the difficult performance, so beautifully done. You're my favourite director, you're my favourite and I haven't even got many other habits. <laughs> but it's great to see you back on screen. It's great to see you in a Marvel production. David Tennant, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back to the Donald Ross Show. Cristiano's still here. David Tennant's still here. Let's get my next guest out. She was the supermodel on the final. I guess because modelling, there is some models do go on. There are very, very few, though, who can have a career which lasts, say, like 40, 50 years. It's yeah. very unusual. So it's a bit like being a sports person in a way, I guess. Whereas in acting, you can age. You are allowed to age. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I, so I guess it was, was that part of the reason? Was it because you wanted a, a longer career? Or was it just more fulfilling? I'd modelled for 12 years. Like, I'd definitely done my dues. Like, worked hard. And I suppose with any job, you just kind of think like, oh, I'll just go on to the next thing. I'll go to a new company or I'll get promoted or whatever. And I think that was a way of growing for me and starting doing it. I just fell in love with the whole process and how you kind of change. Don't you change when you play a role? Like, I always feel like I'm a different person by the end of it. I suppose so, yeah. I find it, I find it hard to be objective about it, you know. Yeah. I think it's for those around you to judge whether you're coming home as a psychopath or whatever. <laughs> I don't know if you have. I don't know if David has either. Have you ever had a... Uh, is there a waxwork of you? No. Is there a waxwork of you, so. David? No. Do you know, there was going to be a waxwork of me. But what happened? I was very overexcited about it. And that year, Madame Two Swords cut their budget and I got cut. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's great, because I know there's a, there is, that's a painful experience. Isn't it? I don't think you're fully over that yet. I'm, I am not. Okay. <laughs> uh, because I know, Christiana, there's a waxwork of you, at least one. I think you have one in your own museum, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So you look a bit like Dr. Spock there. <laughs> so that's pretty good, uh, but it's not one of David. Here's one, there's a couple of bad ones out there. Have a look at some of these and some other footballers. See if you recognise any of these. <laughs> is that any idea who that is? Frank Skinner? <laughs> It's, of course, it's Gary Lineker. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we've we'll got another one. <laughs> okay, be careful what you say here, Cristiano, but uh, who do you think that is? Rooney, no? Yeah. <laughs> That's Rooney in his Oompa Loompa phase. <laughs> <laughs> we've got one more here. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that was a year. They didn't have enough money, Madame Tussauds, but they said, you're so special, we're going to make it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, lovely to have you here. Agnes Dean, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, Mr David Tennant and Cristiano Ronaldo.